truth. Tonight we're going to enjoy a spirit that's a blend of different whiskeys. That's right. What do we have in front of us tonight to pour down our neck and explore? We have a lovely, lovely malt from Johnny Walker, also known as Diageo, who's out of Kilmarnock, Scotland, UK. Yay, yay. And what product is it from them? It's their Double Black. The Double Black has been around since 2014, I think it is. And it's a blended scotch. So they take their Johnny Walker Black and they blend it with one of their Isla single malts and give it that lovely smoke character that comes from an Isla malt. Now this is a year-round serving. It clocks in at 40% ABV or 80 proof. Now, when Johnny Walker blends this, they take the two spirits, they blend them together, and then they put them in charred oak barrels after that, thus the double black. So there's fresh charred oak barrels. They put it in there. I'm not sure how long they put it in there for three, four months, who knows, and then you get said spirit. Now, I've already poured this. I've got my lovely high-end plastic cap that I think that came off a yogurt cup here. You know what? We're going to do it, and I pre-poured it now. I've dragged this bottle down to about here, so the smokiness of this is not as intense as when you first open this bottle. Not that it's, like, blowing you away like Lafroy, but, you know, it's going to be a little less intense, and I think, actually, over time, the complexity, though I can smell the peaty smoke wafting off the top of this, does increase as the you know the whiskey ages so you know what let's see what's up with the appearance to start out when i swirl it we get lovely lovely nice tearing alcohol legs coming down and i don't know if there's caramel color in this or the second oak barrel maturation that they've you know the dark charred oak barrels if that's what's giving this the color but regular johnny walker you know they do put caramel color in and probably the Isla Single Malt they put in here, they've done the same as well because they've, you know, matured those in spent bourbon casks at most times. So when we swirl it, yeah, lovely, lovely tearing alcohol legs. It's a lovely caramel color, straight on caramel. More sort of golden yellow glints than orange this time, but looks delicious in the glass. Take a look at that in my nosing glass here. So, you know what? It's going to smell good too. And since it's an Isla, it's all about the aroma. So diving in for that. Still, even though this has got some drinking downtime in the bottle here, it's got a lovely, lovely hit of peaty smoke. After that, I'm getting some citric notes. Really faint brine. Caramel. A good bit of vanilla. Some burnt brown sugar. Some char notes, but not so much the, the peatiness, more like the like wood char. But that peat comes back in, a bit of briny salinity, a little, little faint hint of like the seaweed wrapper or, you know, like sushi wrapper that I that I get off Lafroig and other ones like that, Ardbag and such. Maybe, maybe some burnt brown sugar, a bit of currants. Mmm, it smells lovely. The, and the the when you first open this. Uh, this double black has a little bit of a phenolic hit, real minor, but that's all gone and mellowed out now. That we've had some time drinking it down. I'm ready to, to dive into this. Since the Scottish, you know, sort of lovely tasting we're having tonight, we're going to give my good buddy Danny, so fucking drunk, a big shout out and salante wa. Mm. Really balanced spirit between the smoke, which actually tastes a lot bigger than you can smell it right now. That peaty Isla character is coming out because regular regular Johnny Walker Black has some smoky sort of char kind of notes to it in and of itself. But now that brininess also is more present than you can tell in the aroma and that herbaceous sort of seaweedy kind of kelp thing going on. If you've ever had kelp noodles, I had those for the first time. Uh, probably three, four days ago at a restaurant, I was having some um, some uh, ramen noodles at a real Japanese ramen place, and they they had some kelp noodles mixed in with that, and it's got that like, sort of like taste of the sea. There's a nice citrus note, and almost like a almost like a fruitiness. Maybe that's coming from the the Johnny Walker Black. It's been a while since I drank that. When I was in university, me and my buddies that were that are from Venezuela, um, we drank a lot of Johnny Walker Black. Mm. Nice sipper. It's really balanced between the two. 
as a blended product, I think they've done a really good job blending this because the classic tasting notes that come from regular Johnny Walker Black are there, and they're kind of like amped up and, and pushed over the top by the Isla whiskey that they blended into this. This is a great product for making, you know, I'm really hesitant to take my Laphroaig and make a cocktail out of that. I'll take Johnny Walker Black and make a cocktail out of it, but my Laphroaig 10 or Quarter Cask or something like that, man, I'm, I think twice. Or if I got like our bag, Art bag or one of those, man, I'm I'm definitely, like I said, thinking twice before I put those into a cocktail. This, you know what? The price point's not too big. I think I paid like $32 ish for this when I bought it. And I can I can make a cocktail out of that because smoky flavored cocktails, they even use smoke guns and put those in cocktails these days. But this still has that lasting long finish, not like like Laphroaig or Ardbag or any of those other ones that really just, you know, give you that punch in the teeth with that, you know, peaty, smoky, you know, briny salinity and all that. This, but it does have that, that finish and it gives me like that experience of eating like really good barbecue with burnt ends just like I get from some others. Nice and smooth. When we put a little bit of water in this, it doesn't tame it that much. I'm just going to put one eyedropper in there. I'm going to do a little more. Give it a bit of swirl to tame it. And as this opens up, I expect to taste more of that like fruitiness and the more tame notes of the regular Johnny Walker Black in this. Let's see what the aroma's like. Yeah. Wow, the smoke is really chilled out on this now. You know what? I'm going to get a little taste of this. I'm clean my palate off before I drink this again. The regular Johnny Walker Black has really come up more now in the aroma. The, the smoke is very tamped down. Now, that's because this is an aged bottle, and so I'm not really getting a whole lot of that smoke now. My palate's a little bit inundated, so that might be why, too. But a lot more of the fruity notes, the vanilla, the caramel, like toasted marshmallow. Those kind of notes are coming out of this now. A bit of fruitiness as well and herbaceousness. Mm, smells delicious. Diving in again. Mm. That really tames the smoke down and washes it out a lot more. It's really driven that down. It's actually shortened the finish now. That long, smoky finish isn't clinging to my palate. It tastes a lot the same, but everything's been, like, mellowed out and, like, you know, kind of decreased in intensity, and it makes it actually a bit more drinkable. Now, as whiskeys go, there's hardly any burn going down in the chest on this. There, you can tell, you know, it's, you're drinking a 40% spirit. 80 proof that is whatever you prefer but it doesn't have have that like big phenolic harsh kick burn to it like say maybe you get from jack or something like that super easy to drink and you know what this tasting this with the water in that gives me an idea you know when you put this into a spirit it'll dilute that but it still has presence of body and flavor enough to be there so let's grade this let me take one more drink here why not As blended whiskeys go, and smoky sort of whiskeys, this isn't like the top tier, but it's really good. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go like 88, 89 somewhere in that range on this. It's a really solid B plus, verging on A minus product for what it is and what it's intended to be. It totally meets that sort of you know criteria, I think, in my book. And you know what? It's very versatile and it's more Swiss Army knife and more user-friendly than a lot of other, you know, maybe straight-up Isla whiskeys are with their big, aggressive smokiness, and it's a lot more approachable. So maybe if you're starting into thinking, man, I might be like that peated whiskey, I, I like that Isla vibe going on, maybe this is a good place to start, especially, you know, once you drink the bottle down a little bit and it, you know, kind of like chills out on the smoke, you know, it's something that you can get into, and it can be your kind of gateway to the bigger, more smoky flavorful Isla malts that are out there. So, have you had Johnny Walker Double Black? If you have, let me know what you know because I like the quid pro quo and the back and forth. Also, <laughs> if you could think locally, drink locally, and support the craft spirit and cocktail and beer movement, that would be pretty freaking awesome because you could make some awesome craft cocktails with this for sure, especially if you hit a little smoke gun out in there, open it up and the smoke comes wafting off the top. That would be pretty fucking boss. 
Anyway, so, to the next DJ Brew Tube, if you could also do me a big favor and rate, comment, subscribe, and smash that like button, that, along with my good buddy Plebley is here, who's kicking it and having a little bit of uh, scotch whiskey with me tonight, <sighs> puts my happy face on. So, to the next DJ Brew Tube, I got nothing but a bunch of Johnny Walker double black drink of love for you, and you know what's coming? Hell yes, a big ass. <laughs>